two totally different operating systems. On the left, we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 representing Android Jelly Bean, and on the right, of course, we have the Z10 running on the brand new BlackBerry 10 OS. Now, the reason why we're using the S3 and the Z10 here in this video is because not only can both phones be considered the flagship device for their respective operating systems, but they are also nearly identical in hardware, which should give us a pretty good idea as to which OS is actually faster. So let's get right into it with our first test, where we'll turn on both phones to see which one loads up its respective OS first. While these guys are loading, I'll let you know that both phones have the same dual-core Snapdragon S4 processor, clocked at 1.5GHz. They both also have 2GB of RAM, and are both pushing HD resolutions on their displays. I've also cleared out the browsing history and cache on both devices, and have them both connected to the same Wi-Fi network so it's going to be as fair as a test as you could possibly get. As we waited out and watched the boot up animations on each smartphone, I want to point out something really cool on the Z10 or the BlackBerry 10 OS itself, which is it actually gives you an indicator as to how far the OS is loaded up. So here we can see the S3 did load up first, so it actually wins in the boot up test. We'll go ahead and unlock it just to make sure that everything is loaded up fine. But going back to what I was saying about the Z10, you can actually see the indicator, and if you press and hold on the screen, you get a percentage, which you know is about, about 40%, which obviously is nowhere close to where the S3 is, so the S3 gets a clear win here. So let's go ahead and go on to the next test. Alright, so the next test we're doing here is the app speed or application speed test. Basically, we'll load up a couple of the same apps, or at least similar apps, on both phones to see which one loads up and runs them faster. So the first app we'll try here is one of my favorites and that's Flickster. Keep in mind that all the apps we're going to be testing here are written a bit differently, but these tests still give you a good idea of the real world experience you'll get with each device. So as you can see, the S3 loaded the app a bit faster than the Z10, so we'll go ahead and tap on the DVD tab to see if it makes a difference. And this time actually the Z10 seemed to finish up first, loading up all the movie details and the thumbnails a little bit faster, so I'll call this test a draw. So the next app I'll test here is going to be the Score Mobile app, so we'll go ahead and tap them at the same time and see which one actually loads up first. So it looks like the S3 is just about done and we're still waiting on the Z10. And uh, while we wait for it to finish loading up, I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to tell you that BlackBerry actually did release a software update, which is supposed to help with third-party app performance, so basically situations like this. And unfortunately, I haven't yet received that update on my Z10, so that's something to definitely keep in mind. But just in case it makes a dramatic difference, I'll go ahead and test a couple of native apps and see what the results are there. Alright, so just to let you guys know, I actually fast forwarded the last 13 seconds because it was taking forever to load. So we'll go ahead and back it up here and notice that we're keeping the apps open in the background to test the multitasking. We'll open up the native calculators on each phone and it's up on the S3. And again, we're still waiting on the BlackBerry Z10 or the BlackBerry 10 OS. It's now open and honestly, if it takes that long, you know, every time, which it doesn't, sometimes it loads up faster, sometimes it's slower. This case it goes slower. Um, you're probably better off doing it in your head as far as the calculation goes. So last app we'll test here is going to be the camera to see which one's going to capture those Kodak moments. S3 already loaded up and now the Z10 and BlackBerry 10 OS is done. So as a whole, you could tell that Android Jelly Bean, you know, loads up applications just a lot faster than the BlackBerry 10 OS. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next test, which is the browser test to see if we get similar results. So just a reminder, I did clear out the browsing history and cache on both devices, and I also closed out the apps on both phones as well. And uh, just because I know some of you guys are going to ask, the brightness is actually set to full on both phones and uh, both in the browser and in the settings. Uh, the difference here isn't as noticeable in person as it shows up on camera, but nonetheless, the Z10 screen is a bit brighter. So for all these browser tests, I'm actually going to be loading it through Google first. So that way there's no preloading going on. First site we're testing here is Phone Buff, and uh, as you can see, they're pretty much neck and neck, and uh, they seem to finish at the same time. So we're actually going to test the scrolling. So we'll go ahead and scroll up and down on the S3, and notice that there is a little bit of white boxing going on, but everything else seems to be rather smooth. We'll try the same on the Z10, and we are getting a bunch more skipping, but notice that there isn't any kind of white boxing going on, so that might be the reason why uh, the performance seems to be a little bit worse. But nonetheless, I'd say the S3 is definitely smoother. And uh, loading up this next article Cool. We're seeing the content first on the Z10, and it looks like the Z10 is done. S3 is still loading, so win goes to the Z10 here for phone buff. We'll go ahead and go to another site. So next site we test is going to be in Gadget. We'll go ahead and tap on them at the same time and see which one actually loads up first. So again, the Z10 actually shows the content first and seems to finish loading up first as well as far as the status bar goes. We'll try the scrolling again here, and not that much content going on, so pretty smooth on both devices actually. So we'll go ahead and try an article here. And pretty much consistently, we're seeing the content first on the Z10 and it seems to load it up maybe just a split second faster than the S3. So let's go ahead and try another site. So the third and final website we'll test is going to be The Verge. So we'll go ahead and tap on the links at the same time. And again, we see the content maybe a millisecond faster on the Z10 compared to the S3. Honestly, milliseconds don't really matter. And if the difference isn't a couple of seconds, then it doesn't really matter. And you'll never notice it unless you're using the devices side by side. Click on an article, you get the same result. But so far, we've only tested mobile sites. So let's go ahead and load the full Verge website to see if that makes a difference. So we'll go ahead and tap on the full site link on the Verge. And uh, actually, the Verge is one of the better websites to test because their full site has so much content and so much media that it really gives you a good idea as far as the capabilities of each device here. And uh, you can see we're seeing the content first on the Z10, which has pretty much been the theme and seems to be just about done. On the S3 now, we're seeing the content. You can see some of the thumbnails still haven't loaded up. Now they seem to have loaded up, so definitely a more significant difference in the Z10 uh, compared to last test. But you can see the scrolling here, it's not even responding to my touch until, you know, a couple of swipes. And uh, swiping is not necessarily the smoothest, but it's not that bad either. On the S3, responds right away and definitely a much smoother scrolling experience. So the theme generally with the browsers go that you maybe get a millisecond or a couple of seconds faster on the Z10 as far as loading times go. But on the S3, you're getting a much smoother...